Hey you internet, welcome to Thermodynamics Tutorial 4-61. Uh, 3 cubic meter rigid tank contains hydrogen at 250 kPa and 550 Kelvin. The gas is cooled until the temperature drops to 350 Kelvin. Find the final temperature in the tank and find the heat transfer. Step 1, draw your free body diagram, your FBD. You get a point for drawing a picture related to the question, it helps you visualize the problem. Step 2, find the gas constant of hydrogen. You can find this table at the back of your textbook. If you bought the PDF, you can use your search function, control F, type in table A-1, go to your substance, hydrogen. Go to your gas constant R, your value is 4.1240 kilojoules per kilogram, Kelvin. Step 3, find your average CV, your specific heat capacity with respect to constant volume. It is constant volume because it's a rigid vessel or rigid tank for hydrogen. So they've got your initial and your final temperature. So you add them together, divide by two, that gives you your average of 450 Kelvin. So this can be found in your table A-2, part B or part C depending on your textbook. So go to your hydrogen, go to your average CV, go to your 450 Kelvin, and then your CV is 10.377 kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin. Step four, find the final temperature. So you've got your equations that are equate to each other that are equal to each other so what you do is you bring everything to one side except for p2 because that's the final pressure so by rearranging the formula you'll get p2 is equal to your temperature ratio which is your final divided by your initial so t2 divided by t1 multiplied by your initial pressure so that's 350 Kelvin divided by 550 Kelvin. The temperatures are given in the question. Same with the pressure. So as you can see, here are all the values. So your final temperature is 159.1 kPa. Step 5. Start off with your energy balance equation. Energy in minus energy out is equal to energy of the system. From there, we derive the formula for heat transfer. So we got minus Q out is equal to delta U. So if we expand that out, it will be minus Q out. In this case, we bring the minus to the other side. So it'll be minus delta U is equal to minus mass, or M is mass and U is specific internal energy, capital U is change in internal energy. So that's roughly approximately the same as M multiplied by CV multiplied by initial temperature minus your final temperature. Why is it reverse your delta T? Because you've got this minus sign in front. So when you multiply your brackets on the inside they flip. Step 6 find the mass of hydrogen so it's an ideal gas we're assuming so M is your mass which is equal to P1 your initial pressure and then your volume divided by your gas constant your R multiplied by your initial temperature so all the values are once again given in the question so P1 your 250 kPa and your volume is given here so those are given also your initial temperature is given so all of those are in the question and your gas constant is found in step 2 in table A-1 So your mass of hydrogen is 0 0.3307 kilograms. Step seven, find the heat transfer. So using the formula that we've derived from step five, 
this one. So we've shortened it to just Q out is equal to MC delta T. So Q is our heat and Q out is heat transfer. So Q in, Q out. So that is your heat transfer, whether the heat is going in or out. In this case, we want the heat to be going out. So our mass is what we found in step six. Our CV is what we found in step three over here from our table A-2 part B and then our delta T is given from the question so our initial temperature and our final temperature and then our Q out which is our heat transfer is equal to 686.2 kilojoules Disclaimers, the method is correct. However, I do make calculation mistakes. I encourage you to solve it yourself and see if you get the same answer. Thanks for watching. Hope you had a great day. Be sure to like, subscribe, share with your friends, ring the bell, turn on all notifications. Leave a comment below if this was helpful. Until next time, see ya.